Hey there, fellow aviators and aviation enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Trent, and today we're going to embark on a high-flying adventure into the world of side hustles for pilots and CFIs. you got to pay for those expensive flight schools in one way or another, and I hope that this help video will help you to do that. So whether you're a freshly minted private pilot or a seasoned CFI looking to pad your bank account, while staying true to your love of the skies, today's video is going to be helpful for you. In the video, we're going to explore 10 side hustles that you can run while still rocking it out in the cockpit. And don't worry, none of them involve opening a pilot's pizza joint at 30,000 feet. So fasten your seatbelts and stow those tray tables because we're about to take off into the world of side gigs that will have you soaring in more ways than one. For the first six of my 10, I'm gonna focus on businesses that are low cost to start and can be run from a computer. And as a little side note for you, I have actual personal experience in all six of these businesses. Then for the final four, I'm gonna share some that are either a little less traditional or something that I'm actually getting involved with myself. Starting a side hustle with a limited budget and the convenience of working from a laptop offers great flexibility and potential for income generation. So here are my first six side hustles that can be started for under two grand and do not require a full-time effort. So number one is freelance writing or content creation. So with an initial investment of a good laptop and possibly some writing courses, or if you don't run to write anything, you can use modern AI tools like ChatGPT, which I use to write the script for this very video that I am creating. You can offer services in writing blog posts, articles, web content, or even ghostwriting platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, or Medium are great places to get started finding customers. And of course, if you do a good job, you can expect word of mouth to take over. Again, let me emphasize, if you have never experimented with AI tools like BARD or ChatGPT, just know that you don't have to write any of this stuff yourself. You just need to be very, very good at doing the prompts so that the AI tools can give you the output that you would like. Number two, virtual assistant. So many businesses look for a virtual assistant to help them with a whole variety of things like email management, scheduling, data entry, marketing, social media management, the list goes on and on and on. And the investment is mainly, again, in a reliable computer and internet connection. Uh, websites like Virtual Assistant USA or Upwork offer platforms to connect with potential clients, much like what I said before about the ghostwriting. Uh, once you get good at this, you can definitely rely on word of mouth to help you to attract more clients. Now, traditionally VAs, if you have experience with them, are often thought to be low cost workers that can be sourced from the Philippines, something that I have over a decade in experience doing. But there is also a very lucrative market for part-time accountants, part-time CFOs, part-time CMOs, part-time salespeople, part-time CEOs. So depending upon what your career 1.0 was, this could actually be quite a lucrative endeavor for you. Number three, affiliate marketing. This involves promoting products or services and earning a commission for every sale made through your referral. You need to publish content on social media to help you to build an audience. Sound familiar? Which can be done affordably and then choose products to promote on platforms like Amazon or any number of other platforms. So I've done this extensively in the past and continue to do it to this day because those of you who watch my channel and are now a student at Venture West Aviation, that is exactly what that relationship was. I basically sent them customers from my audience and then received a referral commission in return for that. So there's any number of ways that you can create relationships like that because most businesses are always on the hunt for new customers. Number four, social media management. So many small businesses look for individuals to manage their social media presence 
because they either have no idea how to do it, they have no interest in doing it, or they simply don't have the time. So if you're savvy with social media platforms and have a flair for marketing, this could be a great fit. Costs might include social media management tools and some marketing to attract clients, or again, you could use Upwork. If you're interested in this, but don't really consider yourself to be a social media expert, remember this, you can learn virtually everything that you wanna know how to do on YouTube for free. So don't let that lack of knowledge get in your way. Remember your offline business customers, they know they need it, but they know absolutely nothing about it. So finally, if you really wanna make this one uh, more of a passive venture, there's even one more little trick you can do, and that is you can delegate the work to your virtual assistant that you hire in the Philippines, and that's also something that I have experience in doing. So you might wanna call that labor arbitrage. You're the one getting the customer. You don't necessarily have to be the one doing the work. Number five, online course creation. So if you have expertise in a particular area, oh, I don't know, like flying or business or marketing or what have you, creating and selling online courses can be extremely profitable. Platforms like Udemy Teach and Teachable make it easy to host and sell your courses and your initial investment is really nothing more than creating a high quality course content, a body of content, and possibly investing in good recording equipment and or editing software, though if you do not want to do the editing of your own videos, you can easily hire an editor to do it for you, which is how I produce all my YouTube videos. Of all the things that I've done online, creating training materials like this was by far the most profitable where I actually earned in the seven figures. So again, this can be something that is very, very lucrative to be able to do. Number six, online tutoring. So let's say that maybe you're not really into creating an online course, but you still have knowledge. So you could teach a subject where you're knowledgeable in. Maybe it's language, math, music, flying, mechanics, plumbing, who knows what it is, and you can host those lessons over Zoom or any number of other you know, online meeting software tools. As a CFI, you could definitely offer this type of training for ground school and be able to earn much more per hour than you would earn if you're teaching it one-to-one -one because in a ground school, an online ground school, you're able to teach one to many people instead of one to just one, and that gives you an immense amount of leverage. So now that we've covered some of the most popular online side hustles, all of which I have personal experience with and several of which have been extremely successful for me, now I'd like to share some additional ideas where I've either met people with experience doing them or they are something that I'm actively in the process of starting for myself. Number seven, aircraft detailing. So there are quite a few things about the business that I really like. First, you don't need a lot of experience or qualifications. All you need to do is get the right equipment and the right chemicals. And unlike automotive detailing businesses where there are an endless number of competitors, with aircraft dealing in most air, aircraft detailing rather in most areas, there's likely to be fairly few competitors, if any at all, so you'll be able to charge premium prices. And as we know with airplanes, Everything is a premium price. So better still though, is the networking. One of your goals is to work as an independent CFI like I do. What could be better than talking to as many aircraft owners at your local airport as possible? With that many local contacts, the opportunities that come your way will be virtually limitless. And so I think that that is an extra kicker in making the aircraft detailing business one that is definitely worthy of consideration. Number eight, drone operations. With the rise of drone technology, there is a growing need for skilled drone operators for tasks like aerial surveying, inspection of structures, and even in the TV and film industry. While you aren't going to be leaving the ground physically, this is still a pretty cool line of work. Just ask Trent Palmer. Number nine, consulting services. Experienced business professionals can offer consulting services in whatever field they have expertise in from their career 1.0. Sites like Upwork are extremely popular for landing this type of work. In fact, one of my past guests is a retired CEO, a fellow by the name of David Hilbish, and during his interview with me, he shared that he's had plenty of success using this approach. So if you were any type of white collar worker or you have any type of you know specialized knowledge, 
I would strongly encourage you to think, well, who else would this knowledge be valuable for? How much would they pay for it? And how do I get in touch with those people? And then finally, number 10, house flipping. As I mentioned in one of my shorts a while back, investing in real estate has been very good to me in the past. In fact, it's been the most profitable thing that I've ever done. And the best part is that it is not a full-time job. In timeless times like we have in 2024, I think flipping houses, if done correctly, could be a very, very profitable business, which is why I'm taking a serious look at doing it. And while you do need to have some capital to get started, the potential for profit is pretty amazing. For example, one of my good friends flipped over 60 houses in San Diego, and he never lost money on a single deal. That's pretty darn impressive. So if you want to learn more about flipping, I highly recommend that you start using the same resource as I do, and that is a website called biggerpockets.com. I have no affiliation with them. I was not paid to say their name. I just think it is a fantastic website. Each of these side hustles can be scaled according to your time and your budget constraints, and they offer fle the flexibility to work around your existing busy schedule. As I mentioned earlier, most of these side hustles allow you to work flexibly, leveraging skills that can be mostly self-taught or improved upon by watching YouTube. The key is to build a strong online presence and network to attract your clients and your customers. As with any business, you're going to need to have a strong work ethic to put and put in the time necessary to achieve success. So where do you go from here? Well, my advice to you is you pick the idea that appeals to you the most and you simply get started. Don't make lists about getting started. Don't write extensive business plans. Don't suffer from analysis paralysis. I've coached, I don't even know how many people on how to start a business and the number one thing that prevents them from succeeding is they don't actually start. Like, let me give you a metaphor. Suppose you were in flight school and you did everything except get in the airplane. Would you ever get your pilot's license? No, of course you wouldn't. So much like your goal of becoming a professional pilot, the key to success in any side hustle is to take action, fail off and learn from the failures and then move on. So here's what I'd like to know. Which one of the ideas that I shared today appeals to you most? Please do let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time watching a video on my channel, a couple of things you could do. You could become a subscriber here on YouTube to receive notifications of future videos. Or if you'd like to get access to my free email course on how to become a professional pilot faster and cheaper than most people would have you believe possible, simply go over to flywithtrent.com and join the email list. Thanks very much for tuning in today. It has been my pleasure to create this video for you, and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Take care. Bye-bye.